A determined demagogue, unfortunately supported by members of his political party, other enablers, uh, people who care more about uh, a future tax cut than uh, the sanctity of the Constitution, are falling in line uh, behind him. They are trying to excuse some of the most outrageous things that you just recited. And I don't think the press has done enough to basically say, OK, the circus is here. You can watch the circus. But let's tell you what that means. Let's talk to people who have a real understanding of how uh, dictatorships evolve. Uh, let's look at the people that he admires and what they've already done. You know, back in 2016, we didn't have interviews with him. We didn't have a track record of four years in office. You know, there was a lot of speculation. And, you know, I understood that people wouldn't take what I said necessarily as gospel about what I thought could happen. I get that. But now we know. We, we've seen him and we've heard him. And so we need to right. do a better job of making it absolutely clear that someone who says these things, you know, maybe he wouldn't jail all of his political opponents. One is one too many. Maybe he wouldn't try to force out of business the you know members of the press who didn't agree with him. One is one too many. We go down the line. And maybe this would be our last election. Because someone who will not accept the validity of an election is someone who doesn't believe in elections. He believes in his own power, his own right to power, and his demand that he be installed regardless of whether he gets the votes or not.